If you are like most small business owners, you know deep down that you need to be creating content consistently, but you just don't have time. Or at least you like to tell yourself that you don't. Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. I'm a believer that creating an effective content creation workflow is half the battle in consistently deploying high quality content. I started this YouTube channel at the beginning of 2024 and I consistently posted on YouTube every single week. So in this video, I want to share with you my streamlined and simplified content creation workflow that anyone can follow, but I don't have time. First, let's address the elephant in the room. And that's the lack of time. From my experience, I don't have time can mean different things to different people. And that's where you want to reflect on the underlying psychological reasons for why you don't have time. I don't have time could mean that content creation is not a priority right now. Maybe you're working on different parts of your business, such as fulfillment, product development, or even high-level visionary tasks. And so you aren't at the stage that you're ready to create content. It could also mean that you simply don't get enough results from the content that you create, so you don't want to waste your time. And that's a valid point. It could also mean that you're afraid of failing and making things worse than they were before you started. Maybe you don't have time to figure out the tech side of content creation or simply don't feel confident speaking to a camera. All of these are valid reasons that need to be sorted out and addressed. But one thing I know for certain is if something is a priority, if you get results from it, and if you have enough knowledge to execute on it, you will find time to do it. So now that we got all of this mindset stuff out of the way, I want to share with you my streamlined content creation workflow that any business owner can execute on. It's based on the principles of batching, which means that you complete similar tasks within the same time blocks. Here is how I use this workflow. I create four videos per month, one video per week. So that means that during week one, I sit down and I prepare material for four videos. I like to script my videos word for word, so it usually takes me about four hours total to script four videos. If you would rather just have bullet points and have more of a natural conversation with your viewer, then you'll probably spend a lot less time on prep. Then during week two, I film all four of my videos in one sitting. It usually takes me about four hours, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less, depending on if I want to include a bunch of B-roll in my videos or not. And then during week three, I added four of my videos, which again, depending on how fancy I want to make the video, it takes me about four to eight hours total. Now, you don't have to edit your own videos. If you don't have time, you're extremely busy, you can find an editor on Upwork or LinkedIn and outsource the editing. By doing so, you're gonna save yourself four to eight hours at the very least and end up with high quality, professionally edited content. Now, this video is edited by Alejandro. I'll add his contact information in the description if you want to contact him and see if he would be a good fit for editing your videos. During week four, I repurpose my content. So I optimize my YouTube videos, I create thumbnails, I turn my video scripts into blog posts, create freebies, and do all that fun stuff. Ideally, I would love to repurpose my long-form videos into shorts more, but I've been just so caught up with other business tasks that I didn't make it a priority to do so. And that's an example of when something doesn't generate enough results, you kind of don't feel like putting your time and effort into it. Nobody's perfect. Now, here's how you can customize this content creation workflow to fit your business needs. First of all, decide what type of content is going to be your foundational, high value, long form piece of content. 
Do you want to create blog posts only? Do you want to create podcasts or videos? If you haven't watched a video on creating a comprehensive content strategy for your business, I recommend that you check it out. I'll add the link right here. Now, after you decide what type of content you want to create, it's time to choose cadence. How often do you want to consistently put out this content? Can you put it out every single week? Can you do it bi-weekly? Can you only do it monthly? It's all up to you. Next, figure out what type of skill set do you have? If you are an expert in your business, then maybe simply being a subject matter expert who prepares the video content and then presents it may be the best bet for you. Then you can outsource the rest of the tasks. This would mean that you're only spending eight hours total per month on average to prepare and present your content. It's literally one day per month. And if you don't have one day per month to dedicate to content creation, man, you need a vacation. Otherwise, just put it on your calendar and protect this time. Schedule it in, put a do not disturb sign on your office and get recording. Now, if you did that and you're now staring at a blank screen, not knowing what to talk about, I suggest that you check out this video right here on how to use ChatGPT to help you with content creation. I'll see you there.